guys, welcome to the Bet You Studio. So happy to have you here. This is where we'll be bringing you all Bet You announcements moving forward. Uh, in the future, we'll be doing sports announcements, esports announcements. We'll be bringing in a lot of famous people and inspiring people to talk about sport, talk about crypto, and talk about esports. So, thank you to everyone who helped get us uh, get this all together. Really excited to bring it to you, being Bet You. So first of all, I want to kick off with Betu Fantasy. So we need about an extra six days to launch. The first launch will be on Thursday, the 21st of October. The reason we're pushing it back is we just need a few extra days for some testing. And we're going to do the first a soft launch. We're going to do invite only from people who registered with the, from the token sale. We'll do the official launch the following week on Wednesday, the 27th of October. So we start off with Bet You Fantasy. Uh, there's the two uh, divisions, Division One and Division Two, and it's based on English Premier League. We'll spend so the, for for Division uh, One, you need a uh, thousand Bet You tokens to play, and for Division Two, you need the one Bet You token to play. We'll start off with English Premier League, and then we'll add new leagues. So the next league will probably be NBA, and that'll take around four weeks till we roll that out. The reason we want to take a little bit of time is we want to obviously get a lot of user data, feedback from the community, and improve the game as best as possible. Now, on to BetU. We're going to push BetU back probably till the beginning of December. And the reason we're doing that is we want to focus on BetU Fantasy. The gaming industry within crypto is absolutely pumping, and we want to capitalize on that. If you look at Axie, an $8 billion market cap, and that's the sort of thing I really think we can actually go after when we build out that new fantasy. When we get the EPL, NBA, NFL, the fighting, we'd have, say, a league for the UFC as well and specific boxing tournaments. There's so many possibilities we can do and it's fully inclusive. So we don't want to spread the team too thin, too thin by launching uh, both platforms together. And it makes a lot of sense because... The BetU platform is based off the same uh, infrastructure as BetU Fantasy, excluding the peer-to-peer -peer stuff. We can learn and improve from the game and then build those features into the BetU platform. Now onto the licensing. We haven't submitted for the Curacao e-gaming license and the reason we haven't done that is because when we do, we have to password block the site and we then have to geo-block in certain territories such as the USA, France, Netherlands, and Australia would all be geo-blocked from BetU because as soon as the license is approved, then the site has to be geo-blocked to those regions until we obtain specific licenses in those jurisdictions. So what we're gonna do in the, in the meantime is we're gonna get a full certification on the BetU platform. It'll take around four to six weeks and this certification is up to the UK Gaming Commission standards. So that's gonna help us then expand to other jurisdictions such as Australia and America and to get other licenses. So it makes more sense for us to do that now. If we weren't launching Fantasy, then we would have gone straight through with the license now and got the platform uh, live within the next couple of weeks. But because we want to focus on fantasy, we're still bringing out a platform. We think it's so much better for everyone. And our the whole purpose is to increase the token value. And the, the best way we can do that now is to focus on BetU Fantasy. And I know a lot of you might have had concerns that we won't get the license or whatever. We are still completely confident in it. There's been no change to that. And we're so confident in it, there won't be any team tokens released that were, have already been um, able to be released, but they'll stay in the vesting contract until we obtain the license. So we have absolutely no concerns about it, but we just want to do this methodically and do it in the best way to get the token value where we want it to get to. Exchanges is next. We want to uh, try and get one exchange listing with the launch of BetU Fantasy or shortly after. So we're in discussions with three. We're trying as hard as we can. Some of them have put some requirements on us in terms of uh, Telegram and Twitter followers. I don't necessarily like doing the airdrops, but we're doing one over the next few days to get those numbers up. We're gonna pump those numbers up, they say. So that's what we're gonna do. In terms of marketing for the official launch of BetU Fantasy, we're gonna roll out some PR, We'll have a big airdrop with coin market cap, and that's just one bet you token to bring in mass users. So we'll do it probably for 100,000 users. They'll come in, start playing, and then we can rapidly expand our user base and bring a lot of people to bet you. And they're gonna be uh, big supporters of bet you. They'll play the game, they'll enjoy it, they'll have a good time, and then they'll spread the word. 
We'll bring in a lot of different influencers, been speaking to a lot in terms of YouTubers, both Twitter and also sports people to promote BetU Fantasy. And there's some very big names watching the launch of BetU Fantasy. If we nail it, some of the partnerships that come in will blow everyone away. And it really shapes up not just bet you, not just bet you fantasy, but also bet you. And we are very eager to do right by the community, and that's why I think it is the best option for everyone that we launch fantasy, we rapidly grow our user base, we get the license, and then we launch bet you at the end of this year. So thank you very much. That's a full update at the moment. We'll be coming to you regularly from the BetU newsroom. Thanks again, and we'll speak to you soon. Have a good day.